I toured with Luis Miguel uh, 2018, 2019, did about two years on the road with him. It was great. I mean, he's like the, I think he's the biggest name in music in the Spanish-speaking countries. And, uh, and to get to go and play with him in all these countries that just adore him was, was a real treat, a real honor. You know, some of the venues were just huge were just huge, you know, like 20,000 people. And, and I would say that probably some of my favorite moments were where he'd be down there and looking up at me, like, you know, like, like very affectionately, and I'm up there playing. I loved when those moments would happen because uh, it was just, uh, you know, it was just, it was a great experience to have somebody of his renown, of his talent, uh, showing so much respect. And, uh, and literally just, you know, seeming as if he's just really liking what I'm doing. It's, that, that feels good. That feels really good. I'm working on a new project now, and I've been doing some writing, and the new music is really exciting because it's new. You know, so it, there's just uh, there's ideas that uh, have been kicking around, I, and I took the moment to write them down and, and kind of demonstrate them and uh, get some music for it. and working with the guys and we're working on performance of these new songs. I really believe that after two years of working with Luis Miguel that uh, it's really made a better saxophone player out of me. Uh, the style of music that he sings is so passionate and I mean he's just so expressive when he sings and vocal expression is just a whole nother level that you, when a saxophone tries to emulate that I feel like it just takes it a step above. 
you know, and it's, so it's, it's, there's been a lot of learning. I, I feel like I got a good two year little course of study in, you know, with uh, Latin music and with, with uh, one of Mexico's finest singers, probably Mexico's finest singer. And taking all of that into a new project is a very exciting thing. With the, the talent that we've got around here, collaboration has been an awesome thing. Uh, my good friend Marc Antoine uh, is an internationally acclaimed uh, uh, French guitarist. And he is, uh, I brought all the music to him, and it's like he's somebody that, you know, getting to work with him some, getting a chance to work with, you know, Mark Hugenberger, you know, who's an amazing keyboard player. Uh, there's so much talent, collaborating with so many of the, I've got icons I've worked with in the past in smooth jazz, but I also have just such a wide base of friends that it's very fun introducing the smooth jazz world to them because they're just so talented. You know, so that's what, I've, what I'm getting to do a lot of right now. That's what we'll be doing at this upcoming show, is, is introducing some people, some players, that um, they're not the regular, every weekend, smooth jazz guitar player that you see all the time or whatever. These are people that are in other worlds that I get to bring them together into a smooth jazz environment and share them there. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a lot of fun doing these shows.
Thanks so much. That's a newer song. Uh, one of the first few times we performed it. It's called Daydreaming, and it's just a nice little flute thing. I, I just was one day sitting there thinking, I don't, I've never written anything specifically kind of a little Latin flute thing. I should try that, and um, that's what we came up with. I like that song. Uh, thank you so much for being here. We are so excited to be on stage at Campus Shacks again and online all over the world. Hello, online audience, and uh, welcome to our friends that are here today. Uh, we're going to carry on with another brand new composition, never played yet for people, so this will be the first time today. Uh, this is a song that, oddly enough, the program that I input things into, uh, it has an auto naming feature. And I always have a horrible time naming songs, so I just went auto, and it told me that this song is called Needed Love. And I said, okay. And so <laughs> it's the first time I've ever used the AI naming feature. This is a song that was named by the computer. So this is called Needed Love. Oh, 
This is the original heavy metal. It ca came in tuba, brass form, and it's saxophone. It weighs way too much to stick around your neck. <laughs> All right, I finally got the stra right strap on. I've got a strap that goes to your shoulders, so it doesn't hurt your neck so bad. Um, I am working on a new project of very classic, very saxophone songs from the old school world, but doing modern arrangements to these songs. And there'll be a whole CD of uh, new baritone saxophone stuff coming out. We're going to be starting this in the next couple weeks. And uh, these are some of the songs that haven't been performed live yet. So I just kind of wanted to try them on you guys and uh, see how they worked out. You'll know some of these songs. <laughs>
Thank you. So that was an old standard. It's called A Foggy Day. Did anybody not know that? A Foggy Day. Most, I mean, it's the old stuff are just classics. So. We're going to do another classic on the baritone, done modern. This is called My Funny Valentine.
I think that's a beautiful song, and I sure as heck wish I wrote it, because I love that. That's my funny Valentine. If we're going to do one more of these little Barry Saxophone songs, because i got a bunch of them. Like I said, it's a whole project that's going to be real exciting when it comes together. This is what we've been dealing with every day, summer time. Yeah. 
All right, I know I pushed a lot of the big horn on you, so I'm going to go completely in the other direction and actually do a song that's on one of my older CDs. Just uh, for those of you that do listen to the old stuff, this is Affirmation, and this is a really pretty song written by Jose Feliciano and made famous by Mr. George Benson.
Uh, sometimes you can see the ninjas. They, they become visible. And then there's other times they're running around on stage that you can't see them. So that was George Benson's Affirmation, Jose Feliciano. Beautiful old song. All right, I think it is time to do another one of the brand new songs. This is a song entitled, right now it's entitled Too Many Notes because I thought that it had too many notes and my wife didn't and I said, it's got too many notes and then it just became too many notes, so.
It's brand new, still trying to figure it out a little bit, so I'm glad that you liked it. Right now it's called Too Many Notes. It might get a better name. Maybe I should ask the computer. We'll come up with something spiffy. Thank <laughs> you. 
was the heavy metal version of, of the Days of Wine and Roses, <laughs> which technically is kind of a love song, so yeah, it's always good to do the heavy metal versions of love songs. Yeah, well, Days of Wines and Roses, you know. We're going to do one more with the big horn, and then we'll go back to tenor, and I'll do some of the new music that has not been recorded yet that is really fun. So this is a song, jazz standard, not as popular, but uh, kind of the minor blues, cool sound of, it's called Alone Together. So it's kind of an oxymoron.
This is kind of like a normal sax. <laughs> We're going to do a couple songs that are on what I hope to be an upcoming CD. And this is a song called Sunrise in Seville. Sunrise in Seville. This next song is a song I wrote for my little granddaughter because she likes going walking with Grandpa. And she's just got this little stroll about her that's just kind of wah, 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 wah. So I wrote a song kind of thinking of her walking with me. So this is called Anna's Song.
Thank you. That's my little girl walking along with Papa. And this next song uh, is very special to me, too, because this I wrote for my daughter, who went through a big transformation and kind of, I didn't get to see her for a little while, and it was really an awkward time in life, and uh, she ended up turning into this beautiful thing that, um, it's just hard to explain, that y you'd look at her and see us hanging out, you'd never know that we had such issues for a while, but She's just so awesome, and uh, I found out that her name actually means butterfly, um, which uh, it's you know it's a loose meaning, but it's it's one of the meanings that's listed for Vanessa. So this is a song called the chrysalis effect, which is uh, when the butterfly comes from the little worm. It's the that process. I hope you enjoy it.
Thank you. That's kind of a tough one to play, but it's really cool. I like how it kind of starts off kind of complicated, and then it just starts to go into a groove. And I kind of feel like that was my little girl. She started off a little complicated, and then she just slid into a groove. That's so cool. So This next song is called Over the Moon, and it's just a feel-good.
Thank you. That's a happy little ditty. It's called Over the Moon. We're going to do a song. It's, it is my favorite new song. Um, it, the title came from the movie, uh, oh, what was it? Toy Story. Because um, I, I love when uh, Buzz jumps off and he's flying and, and <laughs> Woody looks at him and goes, you're not flying, you're falling gracefully. Because <laughs> he's just like kind of gliding as he falls, you know, it's like. So this song is called Falling Gracefully.
Thank you online. Thank you folks for coming out and supporting the music live. It's so cool. God bless you all. Those of you that got to drive, drive home safely and hope to see you again real soon. Thank you. I toured with Luis Miguel uh, 2018, 2019, did about two years on the road with him. It was great. I mean, he's like the, I think he's the biggest name in music in Spanish-speaking countries. And, uh, and to get to go and play with him in all these countries that just adore him was, was a real treat, a real honor. You know, some of the venues were just huge were just huge, you know, like 20,000 people. And, and I would say that probably some of my favorite moments were where he'd be down there and looking up at me, like, you know, like, like very affectionately, and I'm up there playing. I loved when those moments would happen because uh, it was just, uh, you know, it was just, it was a great experience to have somebody of his renown, of his talent, uh, showing so much respect. And, uh, and literally just, you know, seeming as if he's just really liking what I'm doing. It's, that, that feels good. That feels really good. I'm working on a new project now, and I've been doing some writing, and the new music is really exciting because it's new. You know, so it, there's just uh, there's ideas that uh, have been kicking around, I, and I took the moment to write them down and, and kind of demonstrate them and uh, get some music for it. and working with the guys and we're working on performance of these new songs. I really believe that after two years of working with Luis Miguel that uh, it's really made a better saxophone player out of me. Uh, the style of music that he sings is so passionate and I mean he's just so expressive when he sings and vocal expression is just a whole nother level that you, when a saxophone tries to emulate that I feel like it just takes it a step above. You know, and it's, so it's, it's, there's been a lot of learning. I, I feel like I got a good two-year little course of study in, you know, with uh, Latin music and with, with uh, one of Mexico's finest singers, probably Mexico's finest singer. And taking all of that into a new project is a very exciting thing. With the, the talent that we've got around here, collaboration has been an awesome thing. Uh, my good friend Marc Antoine uh, is an internationally acclaimed uh, uh, French guitarist and he is, uh, I brought all the music to him and it's like he's somebody that, you know, getting to work with him some, getting a chance to work with, you know, Mark Hugenberger, you know, who's an amazing keyboard player. Uh, there's so much talent, collaborating with so many of the, I've got icons I've worked with in the past in smooth jazz, but I also have just such a wide base of friends that it's very fun introducing the smooth jazz world to them because they're just so talented you know so that's what i'm what i'm getting to do a lot of right now that's what we'll be doing at this upcoming show is is introducing some people some players that um they're not the regular every weekend smooth jazz guitar player that you see all the time or whatever these are people that are in other worlds that I get to bring them together into a smooth jazz environment and share them there it's going to be a, it's going to be a lot of fun doing these shows <laughs> Bye.